No, my face cam. Where it be? It's cool. And we're just watching my face tonight. No, we gotta have my unfortunate face. Hang on. No, we're watching mine. <laughs> there it is. My face is important in this playthrough. Yours is not. All right. So, without much further ado, we are going to play arguably one of the best RPGs ever made, at least in my opinion. I know everybody harps about Final Fantasy VII or Final Fantasy VI, which I loved both of those. Six more than more so than seven. Chrono Trigger probably has my heart more than anything else. One, Akira Toriyama. May whoever he like believed in rest his soul. Uh, just did all of the artwork. His uh, illustration studio did damn near everything for it, and it was just wonderful. He also has worked on a lot of the Dragon Quest games, and this story deals with a lot of time jumping to control the outcome of the future, as well as the past and the present. It's just phenomenally put together. Eric has never experienced it, so let's hear from him. I'm a huge fan of time travel, so any game period that has time travel is going to capture. I also kind of mirror what you had to say about Akira Toriyama. I like his work. I think the only real criticism I've had of him over the years is that it, it, all his characters, no matter what the project is, just looks like Goku in a, in a wig. <laughs> so I, when I look at Chrono, I just see like Bronx or Goku in a different wig. <laughs> but that tiny little criticism aside, like Tyler said, I played all of 20 minutes of this when it was re-released for the DS. I don't have any experience with it. I've never played through any Final Fantasy out of Crystal, outside of Crystal Chronicles. So I'm not a big RPG guy. Um, I, I, for memes and kicks and giggles to get my friends goats, I'll shit on them all the time because it really gets, oh, he does too, it, man. It, it uh, Greg Griffin here. He pisses that boy <laughs> off all the time. But, uh, I honestly jokes aside, don't have an opinion on RPGs. I know how beloved they are. I know the time and effort that goes into making them. I do know that if it weren't for RPGs, I probably wouldn't have some of the games I have. So I do understand my place. I, um, but if I were going to sit down and play through something, it would be Chrono Trigger because, again, the art, the artist, the I guess the the classic status that this game has as as a as a staple. and the time jumping storyline too is really important up in there as well, and yeah. which is why I'm playing through it. That way, he gets to experience. All of the fun of the story without none of the baggage that comes along with it. We will not be doing uh, off-screen like grinding. This game doesn't require too much of it. And usually you're looking at a couple of extra minutes to uh, do any kind of grinding in here. So, all right, guys, without much further ado, let's launch. Also, we're going to be doing the original graphics mode because I think they look absolutely better than the uh, atrocious overlay they tried to do on this. And uh, everybody's name is going to be the name from the games. Yeah. This also had one of the most magical OSTs in video game history, in my opinion. Like, out of all the games, Chrono Trigger is the most memorable uh, soundtrack for me. And, uh, we're doing the Steam re-release for this playthrough. Well, I was talking about the graphics. I know, I'm just telling them. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> and the reason we're doing the Steam is because I want to experience all of the cutscenes in here. Were the cutscenes just on the PlayStation version? Uh, yeah, they were added to the PSX version when it came as part of the Final Fantasy Anthology. But then that was about it. Because I was looking at uh, when I was trying to source material the other day for our thumbnail, I noticed and I thought there's no way these anime cutscenes would have fit on a Super Nintendo cartridge with the game. They would not. <laughs> Even with their best compression algorithms, it would not have been able to. So when I saw that this was also a PlayStation game, I was like, ah, that's where the cutscenes come from. 
Correct. However, the DS version added a lot more cutscenes to it than the PlayStation version ever had. Yeah. Now, see, I like when they take a classic game, you know, that we would watch. We would have played this on, what do they call those TVs? Uh, CRT. Yeah. See, the games like this were released with CRTs in mind. CRTs would have made it uh, look, uh, you know, like it's supposed to. But I appreciate releases <laughs> like this. Like, uh, I recently was playing through the uh, NES Jurassic Park game, re-released through Limited Run's uh, release of it. And I noticed I could turn on a CTR filter, and it looked horrible. CRT filter? CRT. And it depends... What so, I'm like, saying? as far as games are concerned, CTR. <laughs> as far as the games are concerned, uh, you can turn on, like, scanline filters, but it works better in emulation systems. It looked horrible. Yeah, emulators look so much better. All right, it's over here, woman. What are the yes, other... Yes, you can have you. One of the other things that have kind of always, you know, kept me away from RPGs to the extent that my friends like them is I wouldn't necessarily say I'm lazy as much as I am very much. Um, what's it called? I'm trying to think of the word. <clears throat> Attention. Eric is... Eric is very anti-book reading, and an RPG is essentially just a book. Well, no, I'm not anti-book reading, and I actually went on like an hour-long conversation yesterday stream about why that is. It's, I had the attention deficit disorder thing super hyper bad as a child. So, you know, I was held back a grade, then I failed a grade, and it was always because every time I tried to apply myself and do the work, just like all the other students, I couldn't focus. My brain would wander. So every time I tried to read a book, even as a kid, even if it was a kid's book, like when we got super into goosebumps, it took an extreme, phenomenal amount of effort on my behalf to focus because I would have to reread the same page hundreds of times. I, I would sit there, read a page, realize that after three sentences, my mind had wandered into another dimension, you know? And that carried over into playing games and stuff. Um, RPGs are long, they require grinding, and I just don't have the patience for that. I want a story and I want it now. I want to be able to, it's like, that's why I like the Donkey Kong Country so much. You, It's a roller coaster from beginning to end. I don't have to go back into the same, same you know, same stages 20 times. I could just go. And it's why I like adventure games and racing games and stuff. I did kind of screw up my Pokemon <laughs> Sapphire playthrough that we're working on though, because while I did make it a point to go around all of Hoenn and find every trainer I could possibly find, I didn't spend too much time grinding out the wild Pokemon because it was just so tedious, especially when you're doing a stream and you're not just playing on your own. You need to keep a certain momentum going, so RPGs can be a little tricky to stream. Oh, yeah. Although, in my opinion, that's part of the argument there. Is that you're streaming an RPG? Yeah. Well, ah. it, de it depends on your brand, your style, your audience. Some people will sit for five, eight hours on an RPG and their chat will be booming, you know? And it, again, it just depends on the streamer. Unfortunately, I've not cultivated that type of audience. I've, I've always played adventure games and stuff, so... What does teleport mean? I wonder what'll go wrong this time. Chrono! This, these teleporters do feel very out of place. They are out of place. This is supposed to be like medieval type stuff. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to say earlier and I sidetracked my own self. Another one of the reasons I don't read a ton of books uh, or play a ton of RPGs is because nine times out of ten they take place in the fantasy setting. I'm not a huge fan of the fantasy setting. You mean setting. medieval setting? Same thing. Like, I'm not a huge fan of this period of time. It's like the old west, uh -huh. American west with cowboys <laughs> and stuff. 
I don't like that time period. I don't like the aesthetic. Um, I'm sci-fi guy. You know, I I like monsters and animals and aliens and space and space travel and technology and gadgets and time travel. That's more my speed. And yeah. I just and this game incorporates elements of all of those, and that's right. why it was fun. Right. This game was definitely unique. It set itself apart from other games of this era, you know? Yeah, it's all because of uh, Toriyama. Oh, Lord. Oh, snap. And the music was just so memorable, too. Why did it send her back, but not the pendant? Uh, because the pendant was the, uh, like, catalyst. Uh. Show's over, folks. Move along now. <laughs> Everybody going By home. my calculations... They're all going home not having a clue what they just watched. Pretty much. I mean, if you were a peasant living in a kingdom, you'd probably feel the same way, too. Yeah. Uh, another young person trying to show off some whack a that they don't... haven't worked all the kinks out of yet. And here's the first taste of amazing music from this game. For those of you who uh, might have been watching my streams for the last couple of months, you'll know that we've been having a very complicated, frustrating issue with the microphone. And I have ordered another microphone on Amazon, but it's one of You're kind of cutting out a little bit. Uh-oh. Hold on one guy. One second, guys. He'll continue that thought in just a second. But for now, just enjoy the game. Well, I mean, am I cutting out because I'm sitting too far away from it, or am I cutting out from the popping? I think it was because you were sitting too far away from it, to be honest with you. Okay, because I'll just lean up. But yeah, we, I've been having microphone issues, and I've ordered one, but Amazon says it's going to take a month or so to get here. So tonight is kind of a test for me. If the microphone, like I'm not touching it. I'm not touching the wires. I'm not touching the microphone. The microphone, boom, nothing. Yeah, it's like clicking on and off. Like your voice is disappearing. Yeah, at you. I love it. Okay. And we're here. Did it fix it? Ah, uh, I mean, so far. We can only check and see. So, as I was saying... Uh-oh. It's Our the first... Cybermen! It's the first fight of the game. But yeah, I was that thinking... Did... He just kicked me in the asshole. We'll kill him. But I was thinking I'm as done. long as I don't touch the microphone, it won't be popping and clicking, but... Unfortunately, I guess it's going to pop and click no matter what. Yep. So it looks like when, when we get done streaming, I'm going to have to go in and cancel that order and find something that's going to be delivered in the next day or two. Yeah. Damn it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Pull me a drink. You're dead. Oh my wa, no shinderu. Cool, I learned Cyclone. Nice. Already starting to get somewhere. Obtained a potion. Potion. Obtained a pooer glove. Do 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 do
Alright, let's beat these two. <laughs> Music is so catchy. Oh, I know. It really is. He's dead. All right, I canceled, you're dead. I canceled that order. When the stream is all over, we will go in and we will order together, the new one. Yeah, find one. Together, forever. Do 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, we gotta. I gotta order one and get it here within the next few days because. There's too many important streams coming up this month, and I can't just have Mr. Poppy here. But I tell you what's gonna make this gonna devastate me is I'm gonna order a new mic and get it in. It's gonna do the same thing, and I'm not gonna be able to find what the problem is. Yeah. I can't hear you right now if you're talking. No, I I wasn't saying anything. Oh, okay. I was just kind of taking it in. I was just thinking about how tranquil the overworld in this game is. and It really is, and you don't have to worry about random battles. And I think that, to me, was like one of the best things ever. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Guardia Forest. Here you go. Just listen to the music. It is so damn comforting. He threw a rock at you. Yeah, he did. Oh, you were supposed to be dead, you dick. Did you see what he just did to me? <laughs> Jerk. Die. I don't know what that little green thing was at the bottom, but I liked him. I don't know the enemy's names. Yay, level one up. Now we can do better damage. What's the level cap in this game? Ah, uh, 99, I think. Cool. Now, oh, you dicks. When I was younger, again, like I said <coughs> earlier, I tended to be not only, you know, attention deficit problems but I was also very simple minded I was not a bright child so looking at, at a menu in a game like this would have been overwhelming I would have been quick to anger and frustrated and I would have just quit and walked away you know I, I didn't again I, I don't have a lot of patience as an adult let alone as a child so when a video game has a ton of menus and things that I have to keep up with I tend to just not bother Oh, you jerk. That's what you like. It's funny because you can go back and look at all the tons of Pokemon that I've done over the years, and you'll notice that a lot of items go into my bag and get ignored through the whole game. I don't ever use berries. I don't use the the drugs like that up your stats. No, I think I died. Shit. That was fast. Yeah. I, I deserved every bit of that. And I don't mean like using potions and, th and stuff. I mean like it gets into like having to, to attribute <laughs> different points and stuff to different uh, attributes of your character and whatnot. I don't like doing all that. That feels like work. He, he just kicked me in the groin. And he made a face. And he did it again. Fuck you. Oh. I just added insult to injury right there. And I probably should have used the potion earlier, but I didn't. So when you die in this game, what do you lose? Do you drop items or money or both or none? No, or you just you just restart it from where you're at or uh, where you last saved at. It's not like Pokemon in that sense. Well, Pokemon, you only drop money. Yeah. Stuff like Elden Ring, you... uh drop items 
and then um, Bloodborne and those other games, you you drop uh, souls or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> Which Bloodborne, I think I enjoyed more than any of the other Souls-like games. Bloodborne and Demon Souls are my two personal faves. Like the rest of them, I could take or leave. Dark Souls was okay. I was watching somebody play uh, Elden Ring, and it felt like the game didn't have any soul. It felt like uh, they made it only to be a... Um, how do I explain it? Oh, you know who wrote it, right? Rage Bait. Yeah. You know who wrote it, right? Yeah. R.R. R. Martin. Yeah. But like Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, nobody has any idea what's going on in those games. I couldn't begin uh, to tell you what's going on in those games. So Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and the other games themselves, I can tell you. No, you can't. You're lying. But like, you're not going to like it too much. Well, the story doesn't matter. It's not what those games are about. If you break it down to a meta level, those games are there as rage bait they're there as like the old school nintendo hard test they're there to kill you every five seconds and piss you off and for you to like overcome it and beat it it's not there pretty for, much it's not there for a casual playthrough you know what i mean pretty much it's there for people who want a challenge uh, i would disagree because a lot of the like mechanics in there aren't challenging they're more just designed to annoy you like pop out mechanics like a monster hiding behind a door jumping out team text party not the no. sun <laughs> Hmm. Cursor position memory. I don't need help messages. You know what? We'll leave them on just in case. This music cool. sounds very oh. close to a track from Pokemon Black and White. Yeah. Uh, would have been Pokemon Black and White that did that shit, man. Because this came out way before then. Well, I get that. Come on. Y'all get beside each other. I hate all three of y'all. We need more party members. Ah, I was on the one on top. Sweet. Yay! Went up a level. I do appreciate that the uh, overworld, or the maps, I mean, in general, they look realistic. Everything's not pink and purple and yellow and weird. It looks like you're actually in a medieval forest. The Queen. <clears throat> that little tee hee hee at the end. <laughs> Why is that look a trope? What, the queen or the tee -hee? The The queen. White, blonde ponytail. All the Disney princesses, Samus, Peach, Daisy, like uh, RPGs in general, uh, anime, okay. cartoons. It's a very Just... heavily used character design. I'm <clears throat> wondering why. Uh, so, 
I've never understood that, but a certain nationality with a penchant for not liking certain people also pushed that theology there, too. Or that ideology there. If you know who I'm talking about. The Japanese? Uh, no. The Germans? Yes. The Japanese again? I mean, yeah, they had that bullshit Aryan stuff, but... Yeah. I don't think that is why. What the hell? <laughs> Meat braised in cowardice. <laughs> and then the small cutscenes like this kind of give you some information on the. Oh, what did I miss? I was plugging my batteries into their recharge thing. So I was looking down. Yeah, just smaller cutscenes kind of give you some information on the overall world itself. Yeah, they I know. help with building what, it. What cutscene did I miss? Uh, so the Knight Commander, the blonde dude, came down here and he was like, Make my food. And then he was like, I have no meat braised, or I have no hunger for meat braised in cowardice or some shit like that. He was all pissy, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go over on this side. Well, yeah. Was there anything in this one, or was it the next one? Oh, there it went. And like Yay! I said, you know, had I had more patience when I was younger, I would have appreciated this side of RPGs more. Exploring the <laughs> little nooks and crannies of places like this. I appreciate it now as an adult. Yep, words with this man in private. Seriously? Yeah. I'll take that, please. Nothing more talking about the sun. So many stairs.
They did an okay job of explaining the grandfather paradox, I guess. <clears throat> oh, it gets way more convoluted when you get into Chrono Cross. Way more convoluted. And Chrono Cross is a direct but indirect sequel to this game. Yay! We finally have our first party member. Uh, no, and it's Luca, a.k.a. Velma. She's giving off Velma vibes. Pretty much. I feel like that's who they made her, like, based her after. I can't open those right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Not a lot of. We're just, uh, sinking our teeth into some Chrono Trigger here. Sweet bronze armor. That is what I need. Yes. Put this on her. Well, I guess she already got the padded vest on. All right, foe. Do do do. See what I was saying about the music being catchy as shit? Oh yeah. Let's see who like it bobbing my head. And like this music will just remain in your head. For the rest of your days. Let's see what she can do. Oh, she hadn't learned her first one. Shoot him in the nuts! Boom! Right in his testicle. Come on, guys. Bates. Let's go ahead and kill both of y'all. So what is happening in this world? Why are you being attacked by birds? Ah, just random monsters. That's it. It's the monster theory. What do you mean, monster theory? I mean, just monsters instead of animals, essentially. No. Oh. If we make them quote unquote monsters, nobody can come after us for animal abuse. Pretty much. Yeah, I'll pay you money. She got purple hair. <clears throat> Technically, she is an inventor, so I mean, it would not be untoward to think she's able to do her hair like that. I hadn't thought about it or paid that much attention to their hair color. <laughs> but that is something I've always, you know, oh shit, questioned and never really understood is why why do cartoon characters have Wildly colored hair. Ah, they're casting slow. I hate it. I think the only cartoon I ever forgive for having weird hair color is The Simpsons because it already has a weird palette and it's done on purpose. It's a stylized thing. But then I think about stuff like uh, Family Guy. There are no unnatural hair colors in Family Guy. Then with Futurama... Um, if anybody has weird colored hair, they're not typically a human, and it's a thousand years in the future, so you don't know what kind of mutations we may have had, we may have by then. But yeah. there are, there are some American cartoons that do have funky hair colors for no particular reason, and I think that is them having been influenced from anime. Now, why they do it in anime, you've explained it, Thomas has explained it over the years, but I just don't buy the explanations. 
It just doesn't make sense, both in the universe for these shows and out of universe. Why do anime characters all look the same? Why do they all only have? Why is there only two hairstyles in all of anime? Why are they all have weird colored hair that wouldn't exist in real life? Those are questions I want answered realistically, not the bullshit answer. I don't know. <laughs> I have to ask the Japanese, like creators. Yay! I got Flame Whirl. Nice. A oh, motherfucker. It's the frog guy. Yeah. Do, 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 do. An anthropomorphic frog shows up and nobody bats an eye. <clears throat> nope, I was wrong. That point. <laughs> uh. He can't stand frogs, huh? No, not he. Luca can't stand frogs. The girl. Oh. Moist skin creatures. We're just going to call him Frog. Even though his name is like Clyde or Clive or some shit like that. Clyde Frog? From South Park? Ah, uh, it's something... I can't go into too much without, like, ruining the story for you. Good lord, look at his health compared to theirs. Shh. They even emulated organ music on a Super Nintendo. Let's beat your ass. What are those gargoyles? Pretty much. That no ballet. Pretty much. <laughs> Take out one of them. Oh, damn. Bam. Damn, he fucked that bitch up. Level increased. Athenian water. Yeah, we'll fight you too. What is Athenian water? Uh, I think it, like, fixes stone or something in here. You jerk! Damn. He just, like, cut that guy in two. I need to get a better sword instead of my wooden one I got right now. Let's see what's down here. Can't go that way right now. Yay! Better sword, finally. I thought you said butter sword. Butter sword! <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's fight these snakey wakeys. Are those snakes? Yeah. And we're doing searches right now to make sure we get everything. You dick. Yay, Luca went up a level. Cool. Yeah, she should be good for right now.
Is this why Pokemon Mart music is so uh, jovial compared to the Overworld? I don't know. Because I, I mean, this came first, clearly, but all I heard was the Pokemon Mart music when you went in there. Obtained a hundred gills. Actually, this was 96, right? I think Wikipedia said this was released in 96. So this actually would have been after Pokemon. All right, let's fuck them up. Here you go. Fire. Ooh, you can combine attacks. Yes. And it does a shit ton of damage. Does the frog ever use his tongue? Ah! At some point he does. Okay, because I was going to say it's a missed <laughs> opportunity if not. <laughs> Yay, the sun's going down behind the trees. I'm not blind. Oh. Anymore. A Finian Water revives a KO'd ally. Huh. That's what it do. Do 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 do. What is my levels? 24, 74, 70. Yeah. Let's fight another two dudes. Ah, hmm. oh, you jerk. I hit you first. And he's gone. Dancy McGee is down. Pretty much. Let's kill these two. Yak! Intruders! Somebody shoot them or something. You dick. He danced on his head. Yeah. Well, now he did. He punched him in the balls. Well, um, in his froggy balls. Cool. We learned slurp slash. Slurp slash. No, slurp. Uh oh. Your turn. That just looks so devastating. Oh, it is. <clears throat> I mean, you see how much damage it just did to uh, them, right? Yeah. the big dude not the fat one ah uh, he about to die damn he just punched the shit out of him jeez <sighs> do I feel like fighting them What the hell? Why can't you find anybody? I don't know. I was trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> oh, that's right. Slurp Slash does, uh... That. That answers hey, my question from earlier. He used his tongue. Does that make you happy? It does, and his little bif bicep flex.
So I had that nap earlier that set me straight because I wouldn't have been able to do this otherwise. And as soon as I woke up, I texted you. I was like, I'm awake. And it's like four something. And we were aiming for five, five thirty ish. And uh, you texted and you said, well, I'm going to go home, eat, feed the cats and I'll be ready. And I took the time to fix something to eat myself. Then I vacuumed in here. Basically just did a little light cleaning, waiting on you. And the only thing I kept thinking about while I was vacuuming, because I had a, a YouTube playlist going, and I heard Beetlejuice music, and I thought, that son of a bitch refused to your go Your voice is... Yeah, your voice is kind of coming in and out. Ah. I don't need to use anything just yet. I'll have to open it okay. up right here. Are we all set? Sounds like it. Okay, so like I was saying, while I was waiting, the load, the short and tall of the story was while I was waiting on you to get home, I had a YouTube playlist going, Beetlejuice music came on, and I was thinking back to the other day when I said, you should come down, we should all go out and eat and do something, you know, big in September. And yeah. Beetlejuice 2 comes out September, and you're like, I'm not, no, I refuse, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can I think just, about. I just like I have no interest in the movie. Like I'm not knocking people for enjoying themselves and watching it, but That's it's just, just not my bag, up. baby. Be that as it's, it may, so you suck it up, you, uh, you take your headache for an hour and a half, it'll appease some people. It ain't all about you. You know what? Actually, you know what? I don't <laughs> want to hear that kind of crap after you, sir, absolutely refuse to come up this way. I don't have a way up there. Uh, you've had multiple ways up here. I have told you several times I will come down there, pick you up, and bring you back, and you've refused me every time. Cause there's so don't nothing, give me that good, sir. There's nothing to do up there. Oh, hang out with your friend and play games. There's certainly nothing to do. We're doing that now. Nah. We could really be doing it. That doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, you could be hanging out and checking out Tennessee. But you chose not to. So I don't want to hear shit. I argue it's different. I'm asking you. You couldn't. No, well, you didn't even make it off. to my wedding. You're cutting me off for one. I'm arguing that it's different because you're asking me to come up there when I don't have a way. You asked me to come up there and, and drag my CPAP and everything else up there and all my meds. You're asking me to walk around when I don't really have any mobility right now. I'd say it's vastly different what you're asking of me versus what I'm asking of you. You come down here all the time. I'm asking you to come down for my 40th birthday. I'm not asking you to come down every year or anything. I'm saying just this one time, I was thinking about maybe getting everybody together because as we get older and I have all these comorbidities as it is, I could go at any time. I already have heart problems. And as I get older, they're gonna compound and get worse. So every time that we have an opportunity to give everybody together, I'd like to do it because I don't know how much time any of us, especially me, have left. How about already. this? If I come down, I'm not going to the theater to watch the movie. But, uh, you know, the plan, regardless of your presence, is for us to get together, go to the movie, go out and have dinner, and generally spend the evening together. You know, it's a one-off, one-time deal, but you're kind of just being stubborn about it because you're like, well, I have no interest in the movie, so I refuse the whole thing. And again, I think this is different from you asking me to come up at random and stay and check out Tennessee again. I don't really have my mobility right now, so I can't go out and walk into all these places you'd want to show me so i don't know maybe it's not different maybe it is i don't know I feel it is it. the chancellor i feel it's different i think in the initial storyline frog was also said to post to die after destroying him all right let's fuck him up is the chancellor a wizard Yep. You'll see. Oh. Yakra.
Bam! So the enemy doesn't have a health bar anywhere for me to look at? Nope. Rah! Boop, boop, boop! Jerk. He got pissed. This is like a tick. Pretty much. He also has horns. And smokestacks? <laughs> Pretty much. He's pissy. Did you say I didn't come to your wedding? You got married in Iceland. No, you didn't come to the after thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to make it. Well, I did start. I got in the car. I had all my stuff prepped, and I left, and then it started storming, and I had to pull over because I couldn't see because of the rain. And I was like, yeah, fuck this. I was still a little salty over you moving to Timbuktu, but fuck Tennessee. So I wasn't gonna try and break my neck to drive up there through that weather. I was also very heavily they killed him. medicated and not in this world. That was my deepest disassociation phase. <laughs> At least she didn't die during that battle. Well, because I knew how to use my stuff. Sir Chrono of Trigger! I shall see you there. Sir Chrono of Trigger. Is that his actual uh, no. name? Uh, his name's Chrono, yes. Right. Yay, Wait. we... There you go, dude. Was Obtained he possessed or something? Ether. Ah, uh, what? No, the Chancellor was basically taken hostage and then they impersonated him. Oh... Uh. You didn't have a strict criminal justice system? I thought that in a... In a uh, um, I remembered what his name is. Cyrus. Or maybe that's his brother. What do you call Lady. it? When, what do you call it when you have a king... Uh, monarchy. Yeah, my brain is not braining. I thought in any monarchy, death was kind of the the criminal system, like capital punishment, mm. off with their heads. Not necessarily public hangings. Well, I mean, not for petty theft and shit like that. But he's talking about enforcing a stricter. Or a more strict, rather, criminal justice system. Yeah. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. You species now son of I've a bitch. Now I've got to go through this forest. Do -do -do. I could actually play several of these songs on bass. And I love it. Ah, oh, there we go. Mark it. That's where I need to go. Uh, Why is that knight in armor dancing? I need... Let's buy about 50 of these. And several of those. Do you need some shelters? Yeah. 
And we'll just upgrade our shooting. Boom, boom. Better. Better. Ah, it reveals HP of enemies. And I don't know why the monster is or the uh, knight is damning or dancing. Yes, let us sleep. Nighty night. What All right, so we are going to be catching up to Queen or the girl that disappeared earlier. That's where we're going to stop it at because the next part afterwards is going to be a little bit lengthy, all right? Okay, where'd the frog go? Uh, so he kind of dips out for a little bit. Oh, I like him. I gotcha. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm not a smart man. This is about as far as I made it when I played this on the DS. What the hell? I remember Where this. am I going? I remember this area. I remember doing exactly what you're doing now. Oh, that's right. Oh, I'm dumb as hell. She's not in here. She's down here. Oopsie. I made a poopsie. Do do do. Do do. Do do. I hate you guys. I'll piss on you. <laughs> Eat it. Take it. Bam. He got double the damage. Yes, he did. He is dead. D E D. That's right. She's right up here. Basically, she's in the place she last disappeared at, because he was about to kill the, uh, queen. Yeah. And there she goes. Uh-oh. Yeah, because we saved her, and she returned. It's Bulma. Pretty much. Your Highness. Yeah. Uh oh, Spaghettio. <laughs> King Guardia the Thirty Third. <laughs> So she's from this time? Who, hey, this girl? No, she's from your time. Yeah. All the transitions. Fight all you guys, leave me alone. You can run, can't you? I could, but I'm just gonna kill him. Because getting the extra EXP helps. Not if it's so little of an amount. Anything helps. I guess. And the gold, especially. Plus, I need to increase Marl's level anyway. Let's see if there's anything she needs. Uh, 
She definitely. I have. She she is super happy and super uh, energetic. I'll give her that. Yes. Hopping up and down in the menu. Boom and boom. All right, I'm gonna let those two just enjoy themselves. Ugh! Why couldn't you leave me alone? Oh, you dick. Oh, God. He just raped me. Oh, God. He did the same. Again? Another one. Oh, cool. Maybe we don't use the R word from now on. Yeah. It's on TOS at the moment, but I just cringe when I hear you use it. Ching! See, I don't know if you're mocking me or enjoying the game's music. <laughs> Enjoying the music. So how are they traveling back and forth? Uh, Luca created a device that can open the portals. And she's explaining it right now, so... You spam me so fast that I just have to ask you and I can't read that fast. <laughs> That's too long on screen. <laughs> we <laughs> It's Earthbound. I think everybody around the globe would collectively shit themselves if we got Earthbound in the vein of, like, Link's Awakening treatment on the Switch. Oh, dude, I would <laughs> die. I would die happy. <sighs> I would buy, like, one copy to play and one copy sealed. I'd, I'll take eight. I'm handing them out like candy. <laughs> Literally. Everybody's got that one thing in their life that they love so much that they just want to buy 1,800 copies and give them to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go save. So being an old game, I'm assuming there's no auto save. You have to make it a point to save. Yeah, pretty much. No, uh, it's shit. If I don't you die, have enough for the silver sword. If you die, you lose uh -huh. all your progress, right? Pretty much, yeah. How many oh. of these do I got? Two. Could sell all the rest of this crap. See how much we can get. Hmm. You know what's funny? Skyrim is the first time in all the years I've been playing video games where when I try to sell stuff to shopkeeps, they actually run out of money. I hated that in Skyrim. Oh, that oh, that annoyed me so much. I get it. It's more realistic, but it's annoying as hell. It's like in Pokemon, I can hack a thousand rare candies or nuggets into existence, and they will always have enough money to cover it no matter what. But not in Skyrim. Yeah. Bam! Made some money back. Good.
No! Oof. Look at that guy going so fast. Oh my god! All right, this is where we're ending it at now. All right, 1000 AD. Yes. Oh, you can save from in your menu. I thought you had to go to a place to save. Oh, okay. I mean, you do if you're in the area, like in the different, uh, anywhere that's not the world map, but on the world map, you can save pretty much anywhere. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. All right, guys, thanks for joining. We will be playing this again this week, more than likely either Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday will be a much longer playthrough, though. It will probably be putting about two, maybe three hours into the game. All right, see you guys then. Later, y'all.